It's Ramadan, the holiest month in the Islamic calendar. Muslims around the world are fasting from sunrise to sunset. In previous years, it's been the busiest time for markets in Libya. But shop owner Mohamed Boumenjir says prices for basic goods have doubled. And that means business is not great. The purchasing power for people this Ramadan is much less than before. Prices are rising every day and that's had an impact on our business. Last year, the average customer was spending around $7 for their daily needs. This Ramadan, it's $13 to $15. Many can't afford that. Ramadan is also a chance for family members to spend time together and share a meal to break their fast. But rising prices have made it difficult for many to meet their basic needs. I ask that God helps us all during this blessed month of Ramadan. The situation is dire for many people due to the economic circumstance our country faces. Those with four or five kids are really struggling to feed their families. Libya imports at least 650,000 tons of Russian and Ukrainian wheat, or about half of what the country needs. At the moment, there isn't a shortage here in Libya, but prices for bread have increased. If Russia's war in Ukraine continues, countries in this region, including Egypt and Tunisia, may soon run out of bread. If authorities here don't act soon, Libya could face the same problem. Akram Dribika is head of the economic committee for the city of Tripoli. He says the government has a six-month strategic wheat reserve and is working to increase domestic production. Prices for goods are soaring globally due to the Russian-Ukrainian war, especially the price of wheat. Before basic goods like wheat, oil, rice and tomato paste were subsidized by the government, but that stopped due to the political crisis and conflict. According to the UN, more than 800 thousand people are in need of humanitarian assistance in Libya. The average income is less than $200 a month. If prices increase further, many more may find themselves struggling to cope. Malik Trena, Al Jazeera, Tripoli.